Hey everyone, I'm Jay Heilman, host of Kingdom Builder TV, and I'm excited to have a awesome actor joining me today. Joining me from the new Christmas film, Bring Back Christmas. I am joined today by Mark Christopher Lawrence, also known as MCL. How are you doing today, man? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Just uh, uh, it's been a busy week, but I'm glad to be able to hop on here and talk to you about this uh, amazing and funny new movie that you're a part of. MCL, I've been fortunate enough to meet you uh, before and interview you. I was uh, on the red carpet uh, premiere of Family Camp last year in Nashville, Tennessee. It was a great experience. And now you're back with a brand new film called Bringing Back Christmas. And I got a chance to see the film. And uh, But before we get into that, let's open up the little bio about you. Um, you're an actor, a comedian, MC, motivational speaker. Um, and honestly, I could go on and on. but Bottom line, you're a jack of all trades uh, when it comes to acting. Uh, tell us about yourself and how you got into the acting. Well, I, I had a teacher in the 10th grade that got that put me in my first play. And then she uh, introduced me to a mentor to help me uh, with a speech that I was taking to the national tournament. And, and uh, he was at USC. He was one of her former student, students and got me involved in stand-up comedy. And uh, ultimately I ended up at USC on a debate scholarship and took a voice class for speaking and centering. And that instructor, uh, Ron Ellis, uh, talked to me into auditioning for the Bachelor of Fine Arts acting program and I got in. I was already a junior. So, you know, it was like, well, this has got to kind of work out. And uh, I started working professionally the same year in theater and in television. Uh, Hill Street Blues was my first audition and my first TV job. And then uh, a year later, I booked, uh, what was it, Caddyshack 2. Mm. And things just kept snowballing from there. Oh, that's awesome. Well, excited about this new film that you're a part of. Um, I sat, when I sat down to watch it, uh, I, you know, I'd seen the preview for it and looked, it looked uh, you know, like a, a great and funny movie. Obviously, it uh, kind of starts off uh differently but it's uh, yeah. a great film it's a film called bringing back christmas in which you star alongside lee allen baker uh which we if you've watched the disney channel you know the her from the show good luck charlie um tell us about this uh, new movie and your role as daniel reese well i mean it's a film about about hope you know it, it, we we all have our issues we all have our problems our challenges that we go through and daniel reese is no different you know he has a, a child with special needs that needs a surgery and he thinks he's getting a raise and you know doesn't quite work out that way for him and yeah. uh you know he's just he's in despair and lee allen baker comes along she's she plays an angel and she says she mm -hmm. basically tells him you know you're not the only one with problems and she shows him that you know in a very special way uh, I'm just trying not to give give away too much of it. You know, it's reminiscent of of uh, uh, the old film. Uh, it's a Wonderful Life. You know, so so it's 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 powerful. It's poignant. It's funny. You know, there's there's moments of drama. There's there's moments of tears of joy. That you know, it it runs the gamut of emotions for for the, the audience. And uh, it was just so much fun working with with Lee Allen Baker. Lee, she is so funny. It's like it's it's hard to keep a straight face when you're working with her. Yeah, I bet from one comedian to another, uh, was there was there any kind of like uh, friendly rivalry going on about who can be funniest on set? Because you're a comedian, she's she's a comedic actor, and I'm sure that you guys could probably you know give each other a run for your money. Yeah, there, there was no rivalry. We just wanted to see each other do well, and we were we were just pushing each other to to be the best that we could. Uh, we we had one scene where she had to ride on a mule, and I had to walk the mule to to our spot where we were supposed to stop and talk. And the mule wasn't having it. The mule was not behaving. And uh, mm. uh, there, there's when you when you see it, you'll see my elbow kind of in the mule's side because he's. As soon as the trainer would walk walk away, he would lean against me with all his weight. <laughs> Lee Allen was laughing, and she's like, "Don't let him back up into the trees. There's ticks." <laughs> so it was it was it was a funny day. That, I think that was one of our one of our most frightening and funny days. 
Yeah, the one thing I like about this film is it, you know, it does have that, you know, it's a wonderful life approach to the film, you know, with with the biblical message, which I thought was awesome because you've I've never seen those two elements mixed in. Of course, I've seen It's a Wonderful Life. It's one of the greatest, uh, you know, Christmas movies of all time. Right. Uh, and, you know, just the element that this movie adds, along with the comedic moments um, that that are found throughout the movie, but yet that message of hope that's found throughout um you know what was the best part about making this film um, you know what what would you say was uh, something that you enjoyed most uh, while you were filming it well after being in the industry for 38 years you know i i have to say that uh, this process uh, this crew this production staff these creatives uh this cast um it it was the most fulfilling production that i've ever been involved in in that uh the the camaraderie the the um that everybody experienced and shared and everybody just wanted to make a great film and it's it's the only time that I've done a film and I felt like people really cared about you while you were working you know so I think that was the best part of it for me that's amazing and you know you've like you said you've been in film for almost four decades now and you know, going between, you know, the parallel between faith-based film and mainstream film, I mean, you've got a chance to work with, you know, a lot of amazing actors who are considered like legends in Hollywood. But, you know, from a standpoint of being on a Christian film set as compared to being like on, you know, a big Hollywood film set, you know, you've worked, you've worked with one of the biggest directors uh, as far as like action movies go with James Cameron. Um, what is the big difference that you that you've noticed between being on like a faith-based christian film set and being on one of those big like hollywood blockbuster sets well again it's like it's like uh, on the faith-based set you know they started the day with a prayer you know that was the biggest noticeable thing and then you, you know just just the love of people it's like they just loved on you the whole time you were there just to make sure you were okay like like we were shooting uh all of this outside stuff in Weatherford and it was, you know, like 110, 112 every day and would cool down to a crisp 95 at night. And there was, there was always someone standing there with a cool towel to put around my neck or uh, handed me a, a, a bottle of, of water with electrolytes, you know, just making sure that I was okay. And, and that's, that's the difference on big films, you know, kind of on your own. <laughs> Well, you've uh, most recently been a part of a lot of faith-based projects, including the Pure Flix miniseries Fragment, Oblivion, and uh, the film Nothing is Possible and you know, Family Camp, as we mentioned. But you've been a part of some pretty big uh, movies and films, including uh, the popular TV series Chuck. Um, you've also worked with Arnold Schwarzenegger in Terminator 2, with Ewan McGregor in The Island, uh, Kevin Spacey in K-Pax. Um, what was it like specifically working with some of those biggest names in Hollywood, in, including Arnold? Well, I mean, even going back into to you know my early television days, you know, I worked with Burt Reynolds, who at that point was was a major movie star for twenty years or more, and uh, the, the the common denominator with all these big big name stars is that uh, I had the opportunity to watch them work and to uh, glean whatever, whatever technique I could get from them, uh, just, just uh, to, to be on stage with somebody of that caliber, it, it helps you as an actor to grow in your craft. And um, I, I think, I, I was asked a question before about, you know, did I ever fanboy over anybody? And, and really the only person that, that really struck me in that way was John Lithgow. You know, because before I was an actor, I, I watched him in terms of endearment and, and he really touched me. I believed that he was that guy. And so I started following his career. And then when I worked with him, I was like, wow, that's John Lithgow right over there. <laughs> and, uh, and I told him that, that, you know, how he affected me. And, and he, he was really gracious. And uh, some, of these, some of these stars are kind of standoffish, but he wasn't. Will Smith, you know, I worked with him on Pursuit of Happiness, you know, walked into the, the makeup trailer. Usually the stars are getting their makeup done in their own trailer. Will is in the regular trailer and it was with his makeup artist. And I come in and he gets up out of the chair, comes and gives me a hug, a hug and welcomes me to be set. You know, just um, that graciousness uh, was there with him. 
and uh, Arnold was very funny to work with. You know, he he was cracking jokes and uh, you know, and 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 took a good a good ribbing in return. You know, so uh, sometimes it's great to work with these big names, and sometimes it's just kind of you know, you get there, get your work done, and you know, they don't really have any any. Uh, interaction with you tim allen was fantastic in, in christmas with the cranks you know it's like we we're standing out there at the at the trunk of this car and i got on a, a sweat a christmas sweater and a parka and i'm sweating and he's looking at me and he's kind of laughing he goes you chilly <laughs> and i said no i said i'm trying to figure out why you're not sweating he's like i cut the back out of my sweater <laughs> So, I love know, that movie. Christmas the Cranks is that's one of my favorite Christmas. I, and I told you that last year when great. I mentioned the red carpet, Christmas with the Cranks is my favorite. And I, I was curious, did, did, was there real snow when you guys were filming? Was that no? We shot in June in Downey, California, so it was 106 on most days. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, generally, well, when you're shooting Christmas movies, you're shooting in the summer. Yeah. Well, I, you know, when, with uh, with Terminator 2, you know, I, you know, Arnold's always, he's got such a straight face character in that movie. And when you hear stories about him joking and cracking up, it's kind of hard to imagine with that particular film, him doing that because of his character being so like stoic and like plain faced and, yeah. uh, you know, non emotional the whole film. So that's, that's awesome to hear. And, you know, going back to this film, uh, bringing back Christmas, you know, when people sit down to watch this film, uh, what is the biggest thing that you want to see them take away with uh, from it when they're done watching it? Well, I, I think I want them to take away f f from it the fact that Christmas is 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 about uh, hope and joy and love and Jesus. You know, I, I think I want people to to understand what the season is all about and take that away from it. You know, we've gotten so far into commercialism that that uh you know it, it's become about presents about buying things and and uh I, I think just remembering the reason for the season if people can take that away then we've done our job amen couldn't have said it better than that well where can folks uh, check out bringing back christmas where are they able to watch it at um it, it's streaming platforms all over the place amazon uh, voodoo uh, in demand you can go to uh, bringing back christmas com and stream it right from there and get more information about it and about you know the directors and, and all the players uh, it's it's really um, kind of all over the place right now you can find it it's easy to find awesome well uh, MCL where can we get more information about you you know movies is not the only thing you've done I've seen your stand-up stuff uh, not only are you a funny comic but you're a clean comic so it's uh, safe for kids to watch where can we where can we get more information about you and watch you and your the other stuff you got going on well you can uh, follow me on Instagram or uh, uh, Mark Christopher Lawrence and uh, you go to my website markchristopherlawrence.com scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see all the bugs from my social media. And um, there, there are reels on my website as well. You know, my acting reel is there. My comedy reel is there. Um, if you want to just go and watch my, my comedy act, go and check out uh, Mark Christopher Lawrence, Clean Out of Count, and on Dry Bar. Well, that's amazing. So is there any projects uh, that you're working on or that's something that's coming up, films, stuff like that, that maybe you can tell us about, keep an eye on? Uh, well, really nothing right now. You know, the strike just ended. So we're, we're trying to get back to work. Um, uh, I'm working on a, a comedy thing. Uh, we're we're going to do a pay-per-view comedy night that will uh, likely be a very clean show. Um, and, and all that will be available on my social media. And we'll, we'll, we'll promote and promote and promote to make sure it's successful. Um, and yeah, and that's about it. Awesome. Well, Mark Christopher Lawrence, everyone, thank you so much for joining us today, MCL. I appreciate you taking the time to come by, and I'm really hoping that people enjoy this film, Bringing Back Christmas, as much as I did. It was a great movie, full of comedy, full of just everything you'd want to see in a movie, but most importantly, that hope that everybody needs right now in Christ. So thank you so much for joining us today. I greatly appreciate your time, man, and good luck with whatever the Lord uh, brings you to in the future, man. It was good to talk to you. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate being, you bringing me on. And it's good to talk to you too.